Welcome to another demonstration of IBM InfoSphere Data Architect. In the previous demo, we showed how InfoSphere Data Architect is used for entity relationship data modeling, including reverse engineering, forward engineering, and publishing reports for a physical data model, as well as basic navigation through the workbench. In this demo, we'll learn how InfoSphere Data Architect is efficiently used in multidimensional data modeling. Let's start by visiting the Great Outdoors Company, an online retailer that sells sport and outdoor products. To grow their business, the management team decides to build a data mart for business intelligence analysis and performance management. The data mart will be derived from a partition of the existing data warehouse. The data mart will then be used by the cubing services component of InfoSphere Warehouse to build OLAP queries and by Cognos Business Intelligence to generate analytical reports. Tom, the data architect at the Great Outdoors Company, is assigned to create the dimensional models for the OLAP and BI report teams. We'll see Tom do this in three steps using InfoSphere Data Architect. First, he will create a dimensional logical data model from an existing logical data model that represents a subset of the data warehouse. Then, he will transform the dimensional logical data model into a dimensional physical data model. Finally, he will generate the DDL to deploy the data mart and then transform the model to a Cognos and Cubing Services data model for analytical queries and report generation. Let's start with the process of creating the dimensional logical data model from an existing logical data model. A logical data model can be created from scratch, reverse engineered from a physical data model, or imported from various model formats created by different modeling tools. In this example, Tom will use the existing logical data model, which contains the metadata that represents a subset of the data warehouse. This subset model has all of the entities he needs for the entire Data Mart project. First, from the logical data model, he enables dimensional notation, so that InfoSphere Data Architect can automatically discover the facts and dimensions based on the relationships in the existing data model. InfoSphere Data Architect can also automatically generate hierarchical levels for each discovered dimension. The discovery process adds metadata about the dimensional types to the entities in the model. If needed, Tom can change the dimensional entity type by editing its dimensional properties. Next, Tom analyzes and validates the discovered dimensional metadata for the logical model. InfoSphere Data Architect can analyze various models, including glossary models and logical and physical data models. Models are analyzed based on common data modeling rules, and the tool offers design suggestions. Naming conventions and enterprise business terms could also be enforced through InfoSphere Business Glossary. In this example, since Tom started with an existing and valid logical model, he only needs to analyze the new dimensional metadata. Standard dimensional modeling rules are provided to help you decide how you want to enforce business requirements during the validation process. After the model is analyzed, Tom sees model validation errors in the problems view. The first error indicates that there is no caption attribute for the account class code level. Tom double-clicks on the error entry to navigate to the account class code level, which is automatically highlighted in the Data Project Explorer. Then, he can open the Attributes tab of the Properties view and easily mark the attribute of the level as the caption. Tom continues to analyze and fix the errors in the Problems view. Now that the data model has been validated, the IT team wants to start small, and they decide to only deploy the Product Revenue Analysis Project as one of the business processes. To support this cascading development practice, Tom decides to create a dimensional overview diagram and select only the fact tables that are needed for the initial project. When Tom selects the fact tables that he needs, InfoSphere Data Architect automatically pulls in all of the objects that are related to them. The diagram is shown in the Diagram Editor. 
InfoSphere Data Architect provides a unique way to depict the dimensional data model in a dimensional diagram. The graph layout properties let you automatically arrange the tables or entities in a diagram using various configurations such as hierarchical, tree, or radial tree layouts. Further graphical customization can be done for each layout configuration. In this example, Tom changes the graph layout from the default radial configuration for a star schema and applies the balloon configuration, which gives a better view for a snowflake schema, and then further customizes the configuration and objects in the diagram. With InfoSphere Data Architect, Tom can immediately see his changes on the diagram as well as the outline view. Tom double clicks on the diagram tab to maximize the view and examines the diagram. If needed, he can add additional dimensional objects and relationships by using the pop-up icons provided. Now that the model diagram has met business requirements, Tom wants to create a separate dimensional logical data model using the diagram as the source. First, he creates a transformation configuration template to specify the type of transformation. In this case, he specifies that he wants to transform a logical data model into a dimensional logical data model. He uses the diagram that he just created as the source. He specifies the data design project as the target where the new dimensional logical data model will be created. Several transformation options are supported, including automatic degeneralization and denormalization for various schema types, such as star, starflake, and snowflake schemas. The denormalization process may remove generalizations, merge relationships, connect fact entities, and merge outrigger entities into dimension entities depending on the target schema. There is also an option to transform with degeneralization only. This option is useful when you need to compare and see what attributes have been added and what entities have been removed by the wizard's denormalization process for optimal performance, as we will see later on. In this example, Tom decides to transform to a star schema. The transformation configuration is created in the Data Project Explorer in the Other Files folder, and it opens in the Editor view. If he wants, he can later modify or reuse this transformation configuration. To create the new dimensional logical data model, Tom runs the transformation configuration. The dimensional logical data model is displayed in the data models folder of the target project. The data model is named after the source logical data model package or diagram and has underscore D at the end of the file name. His original logical data model is intact and Tom can continue to work with the smaller dimensional logical data model. While reviewing the new dimensional logical data model, Tom notices that the outrigger tables were removed by the denormalization process of the transformation. To analyze in detail what has been merged, added, and removed, Tom will create a separate normalized data model with the provided degeneralize only option. After the normalized model is created, he then compares it with the denormalized dimensional logical data model. Tom selects both data model packages. In the structural compare view, the new denormalized model is on the left and the normalized model is on the right. Tom can easily see the list of outriggers that were removed by the denormalization process when the model was transformed. He also sees the new attributes that were added by the denormalization process. If the new dimensional logical data model requires an entity or attribute that exists in the normalized data model, such as a required outrigger, Tom can copy the objects by using the icon in the property compare view. Tom continues to analyze the deleted entities and the added attributes to ensure that they meet the business requirements. Now that the dimensional logical data model has been reviewed, validated, and approved, Tom needs to transform it to a dimensional physical data model. With InfoSphere Data Architect, we can create multiple physical data models from a single logical data model. InfoSphere Data Architect supports many versions of major database platforms. Here, Tom creates a dimensional physical data model for DB2 version 9.5.
The new physical data model is created in the data models folder and is named after the dimensional logical data model. Next, Tom needs to generate a DDL script to deploy the new data mart. To validate the model as the DDL is generated, Tom selects the Check Model option. He can preview the DDL script. He has the option to run the DDL on the server, edit the DDL, or save it to a local file. In this example, Tom generates the DDL script to a file so that Jackie, the DBA, can review it and deploy the new data mark. The DDL file is created in the SQL scripts folder. Finally, Tom creates the Cognos and Cubing Services model by creating a transformation configuration file that transforms from the dimensional physical data model. After he runs the transformation configuration, the model is created in XML format in the XML schemas folder of the data design project. This model file can be used by any Cubing Services product, such as Infosphere Warehouse or Cognos Cubes, to build OLAP queries and reports. In this example, Tom sends it to the OLAP and BI report team. The team imports the data model into IBM Cognos Framework Manager to create analysis packages, which the team can use to draft Cognos reports using various multidimensional report styles such as gauge, chart, and crosstab to better analyze the revenue and profit for the product lines as shown here. Let's summarize what we have shown here. First, you saw how InfoSphere Data Architect is used to automatically discover the dimensional data in the existing logical data model simply by adding dimensional notation and discovering the facts and dimensions. Without this, it would take Tom a lot of time to draft the dimensional logical data model manually. Next, you saw how InfoSphere Data Architect is used to create a dimensional logical star schema model that was automatically transformed from a normalized warehouse model to a denormalized dimensional model. The transformation process helps Tom avoid the tedious, time-consuming, and error-prone tasks that are involved in the manual denormalization and transformation process. Then, you saw how Tom used the compare function in InfoSphere Data Architect to analyze what data objects were merged, added, or removed by the denormalization process. Then, you saw how Tom transformed the dimensional logical data model into a dimensional physical data model. From this dimensional physical data model, Tom generated the DDL script so that Jackie, the DBA, could review and deploy the new data mart. Finally, you saw how the dimensional physical data model is transformed to a Cognos and Cubing Services model, which is used by the InfoSphere Warehouse product, as well as within a Cognos environment to report on or analyze data. InfoSphere Data Architect is a collaborative data design solution that helps you discover, model, relate, and standardize diverse and distributed data assets. It supports both entity relationship and dimensional data modeling at different layers, including physical and logical data models across different sources and database schemas. It improves the Data Architect's productivity by providing transformations from different layers, automating dimensional discovery, and denormalization. This helps organizations increase efficiency, reduce time to market for the needed applications, and facilitate collaboration across a variety of architectural, administrative, and development roles. With built-in standard rules, best practices, and processes, InfoSphere Data Architect helps increase data quality, enterprise consistency, and data governance. It supports business and IT collaboration to keep IT aligned with the business objectives. It helps define and enforce compliance to enterprise standards and feeds privacy policies to downstream tasks to improve compliance. Finally, what really sets InfoSphere Data Architect apart is its integration and alignment with various products throughout the software development and data lifecycle. These tools include rational software development and design tools, InfoSphere Warehouse tools, Cognos Business Intelligence Tools, and Optum Integrated Data Management Tools. To learn more about IBM InfoSphere Data Architect, Cognos Business Intelligence, or how other integrated data management solutions can help you manage the data and database application lifecycle, 
click on the available resources here.